King Lear ruled the desert planet Arrakis. The old king decided it was time to divide his kingdom among his three daughters. Goneril and Regan, the older ones, being the suck-ups they were, fawned over the King Lear, and in return, they got the better territories. But his youngest, Paula, refused to stroke the king's ego. As a result, she was left with the desert doom wasteland known as Wasteland. But Paula, being the resourceful sister, knew that beneath the scorching sands there was a valuable resource called Spice, a drug that granted its users psychic abilities and minty fresh breath. Paula mined the Spice and built an army. As Arakis began to plunge into decline, thanks to the machinations of Goneril and Regan, Paula's power only grew. Goneril and Regan unceremoniously dumped King Lair into a retirement home. Paula, furious over her sister's treatment of their father, declared war. Soon, Paula and her sister stood on the desert battlefield to face one another, each of their armies behind them. Goneril and Regan, with their matching designer suits and designer handbags, were ready to put Paula in her place once and for all. The tension blistered the air. Goneril and Regan let out a banshee war cry and charged towards Paula as one. Paula was ready for them. With the flick of her hand, Paula summoned her stand, Desert Rose, a powerful entity that manifests as a giant humanoid made of sand. Goneril and Regan gasped at the sudden appearance of Paula's stand, but quickly recovered and tried to fight back with their own stand, Sharper's Paradise a stand that could control shopping bags and credit cards. But Paula's Desert Rose was too powerful, and it quickly beat down Sharper's Paradise, sending the sisters flying with their fancy bags and credit cards. Paula then shouted, Muda, Muda, Muda! And her stand unleashed a flurry of punches on her sisters' armies, leaving Goneril and Regan defenseless. In their moment of defeat, Goneril and Regan realized that Paula was the true ruler of Arrakis and that they had been blinded by their own vanity and love of shopping. Goneril and Regan, being the good sports that they were, offered to take Paula and King Lair shopping as a peace offering. The end.